Speciation happens when an existing species splits into two or more separate species. I created this to help you understand this process in more detail. Imagine a peaceful meadow here with one population of flowers. Now each flower in this population can breed with any other flower in the meadow and does continuously for many years. The genes of any and all flowers are constantly being mixed together. And as a result, they continue to be the same species. Any advantageous trait that happens in one flower will eventually spread to the whole population by natural selection, so they all sort of gradually change together. We are not going to get two radically different types of flowers as long as they are continuously exchanging their genes. However, let's say a catastrophe happens, like a nearby dam breaks and a river now cuts across the meadow. We have two populations of flowers now one on either side of the river, and the river is too wide for any breeding to occur across the river. Again, two populations that are separated by a reproductive barrier. Separation is the first phase of speciation. Now let's imagine that the field on the left side of the river is constantly being eaten by grazing cattle, and the right side is commonly visited by tourists. The cattle generally try to avoid the flowers because they taste bad, at least compared to the delicious grass. The tourists, on the other hand, love the pretty flowers, and so they pick the brightest ones to wear or give to their loved ones. What do you think is going to happen to the two flower populations after many years? On the left side, the flowers are under selective pressure to get noticed by the cows. They do this so that they eat around the flowers, not the flowers themselves. On the right side, the flowers have pressure to be less appealing to tourists. This means that they should look less pretty and blend in better with the grass around them. If they are lucky, both populations will undergo adaptations that make this so. Given more time, mutations begin to occur and accumulate such that the flowers look radically different the flowers on the right side are beginning to blend in better, while the ones on the left are under selective pressure to be extremely noticeable, and that is exactly what we get in the phenotype. The process of evolution continuously exaggerates this difference. The flowers on the left may even develop a worse and worse taste to the cattle, perhaps to the point that the cattle graze as far from them as possible. The flowers on the right side might develop a stinky smell that the tourists find repulsive, giving them even less reason to pick the flowers. These changes can continue to the point where eventually, even if the river dries up and the flowers were brought back together to breed, they couldn't produce fertile offspring. Their DNA is now too different. At this point, division has occurred, meaning that the flowers have actually split into two separate species now. Speciation is evolution in action and it takes a long time for it to occur. It requires many random mutations and natural selection to make it happen, and it results in one species becoming two. It has been observed and well-documented around the world. To recap, speciation has three steps. Separation. This is when the population is separated into two reproductively separate populations, usually by something like a body of water, a mountain range, or other barriers. Adaptation. This happens to each population, but it happens in different ways. They each adapt differently to different environmental pressures. Finally, we have division. This occurs when the populations are genetically so different, they cannot produce fertile offspring together, making them two species now. Thank you for watching.